Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to see the procedure to design a lag compensator using a Bode plot. So the first step is choose the value of k in uncompensated system to meet the steady state error requirement. So here the value of k we have to find out the value of k to find out the value of k that will be some terms which will be given in the problem right with the help of that by using that we have to find the value of k that is our step number one and step two is sketch the Bode plot of uncompensated system so as we all know Bode plot has two plots right what are all the two plots one is known as magnitude plot and another one is known as the phase angle plot okay we have to draw these two plots right regarding magnitude plot i hope you people know the procedure we have to select two corner frequencies apart from the corner frequency which we get from the transfer function of the given problem one is omega l and one is omega h right for different values of that corner frequencies we have to calculate the value of magnitude right and for phase angle calculation we have to frame an expression first okay the rule is tan inverse of imaginary coefficient divided by real term right using that expression we have to substitute different values of omega and calculate the respective values of phase angle right so after drawing the Bode plot step 3 is find the phase margin of the uncompensated system that is just now we have drawn the Bode plot right from this Bode plot we have to calculate the phase margin if the obtained phase margin does not meet the phase margin which is given in the problem in that case we have to move to the lag compensation right am i making the concept clear that is from this Bode plot we will be calculating a phase margin right that phase margin should match with the phase margin which is given in the problem if that doesn't happen then we have to move to lag compensation right and the next one is step number four so choose a suitable value for the phase margin of the compensated system right so here we are having gamma d that is this is the desired phase margin okay or the phase margin given in the problem and gamma n is the phase margin of the compensated system right so here this is the formula gamma n is equal to gamma d plus this epsilon this epsilon is nothing but additional phase lag to compensate for shift in the gain crossover frequency right so here the value of epsilon is initially taken as 5 degrees in order to have the desired phase margin we are adding the additional phase lag that additional phase lag is represented as this epsilon right initial value of epsilon is considered as 5 degrees right now we are moving to step number 5 determine the new grain crossover frequency right because just now we have framed the formula right with the help of that we are calculating the new gain crossover frequency and this new gain crossover frequency is denoted as omega gcn right so the new omega gcn is the frequency corresponding to the phase margin right of gamma n on the Bode plot of uncompensated system that is with the new gain crossover frequency we are going to calculate the phase margin right that's it from this step 5 so here pi gcn is nothing but phase of g of j omega at new gain crossover frequency at new gain crossover frequency we will be calculating the phase right that respective phase is known as pi gcn right now gamma n is 180 degree plus pi gcn so from this formula pi gcn is given as gamma n minus 180 degree right the new gain crossover frequency omega gcn is given by the frequency at which the phase of g of j omega is pi gcn that is here you, you know we are calculating pi gcn what is this pi gcn it is the phase angle at new gain crossover frequency right so when we read by sentences you will may be bit confused so just understand what is that that's it you know right what is pi gcn we know what is gamma n just this is the formula right it's more than enough while solving problems it will be pretty easier rather than discussing with the procedures right and the next thing is step six here 
determine the parameter beta here we are including a new term beta what is mean by beta beta is nothing but magnitude of g of j omega at new gain crossover frequency right you see in the previous case we are calculating the phase angle of the new gain crossover frequency and here we are calculating the magnitude right that's it find the decibel at new gain crossover frequency that is magnitude at new gain crossover frequency is denoted as a g c n right so a g c n is given by 20 log of beta and by rearranging we are calculating the value of beta right the next one is tip number seven here we are framing the transfer function of lag compensator right so place the zero of the compensator arbitrarily at 1 by 10th of the new gain crossover frequency omega gcn so zero is given by 1 by t <coughs> and 1 by t it is nothing but we are placing that omega gcn right we are placing 1 by 10th place of this omega gcn so therefore 1 by 10 into omega gcn it is written as omega gcn by 10 so from this we are calculating the value of t right and the next one is pole of the lag compensator it is given by 1 by beta t right so transfer function of this lag compensator is nothing but that is s plus 1 by t is the 0 and s plus 1 by beta t is the pole here right we are taking lcm and we are cancelling out the common terms and finally the transfer function is found out to be beta into 1 plus st divided by 1 plus s into beta t right now we are proceeding with our step 8. So finding the open loop transfer function of the compensator system. Right. So as we all know the compensator is always connected in series with the transfer function given in the problem. Right. So here this is the transfer function of lag compensator and this is the transfer function of the uncompensated system. Right. So when the lag compensator is inserted, the open loop gain of the system is amplified by the factor beta. Yes, right? Because you see here we are having beta in multiplication, right? So the given transfer function gets amplified by beta. That's the reason. For example, you see, let the value of beta is some 3 and here we are having some terms, okay? So in order to combine the blocks in series, what we will do? We will just multiply the terms, right? So here, for example, when you multiply this term with this term, for example, I am telling, right? If you multiply these two terms, for example, I am getting the answer as 10. You just assume, right? Here, I am having beta, right? Again, when you just multiply the term with this beta, the value gets amplified or the value gets increased. Do you agree? You see, simply it will be 10. But due to the presence of beta, the value gets increased to 30. So the value gets amplified, right? So that this is what mentioned here in the sentence. The next one is if the gain produced is not required, then attenuator with gain 1 by beta can be introduced in series with the lag compensator to nullify the gain produced by the lag compensator. So here you see the value of this beta be 3 here right but when you calculate the overall gain if the value exceeds beyond the particular limit for example the gain of the particular system should be limited to 20 right but here due to this beta the value of gain is gain has increased to 30 so how to reduce this it is very simple just we are introducing an another term 1 by beta so what happens when 1 by beta is introduced this 1 by beta multiplied by beta they cancel each other right 1 by beta multiplied by here beta and these two terms so these two terms cancel each other so if the gain is not required not needed for the system then we can introduce 1 by beta here right so the open loop transfer function of the compensated system is given by 1 by beta into this is the you see here I am having 1 by beta and this is the transfer function of the lag compensator and this is the transfer function of the uncompensated system. So this is what here it is written you see 1 by beta into 
lag compensator transfer function and the uncompensated systems transfer function. So just we are substituting the values. Once you substitute the values here what happened? Here beta, beta cancels each other and we will be having the remaining terms over here. Right. And the next one is step 9. Find the actual phase margin of the compensator system. Now we are having the transfer function of the compensator system. Right. So from this transfer function we have to find the phase margin right and calculate the actual phase angle of the compensated system using this transfer function at new gain crossover frequency okay anyways we are need to find the phase margin of this compensated system right so with the help of this omega gcn now this phase angle okay pi gc naught is nothing but phase of this open loop transfer function at omega equal to omega gcn right so phase margin is given by 180 degree plus pi gco you see that's all we had calculated the phase margin of the compensated system so if the actual phase margin satisfies the specification okay if this phase margin satisfies the a phase margin given in the problem then the device is accepted or else we have to repeat the steps 4 to 10 by taking epsilon as 5 degree more than previous design right so after reading these sentences don't get scared because anyway with this step we will be able to satisfy the requirement right so in case if it doesn't happen we have to repeat but uh, you won't get problems like this right because actually this problem is uh, much more time consuming so anyway the given that is the new compensated system will satisfy all its requirement right so here comes the end of the procedure if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you